Hello, my name is Dale Wilhite. If you want to find out anything about me, go to MySpace or Facebook where I have an account or accounts. And I'm also on Twitter. Uh, right now, I'm in, one of, in the northernmost island of Hawaii. I'm in Lahui, Hawaii. And be here through till maybe 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Then I hopefully I'll be heading for Oahu and then to Big Island. If things work out, I'll be staying in one of those islands. If not, I'll be heading back to the mainland. This is a very important subject that deals with why, or asks the question, why can't we men uh, be faithful to one woman? Why is it that we men have this need to, or sometimes fantasies, to be with more than one woman? I mean, we know they do that in the Middle East in many Islamic uh, cultures. I still think it's they use their religion to get more wives, and that's why they like it so much. It's like some Mormons, not most Mormons, but few Mormons, the extreme that, you know, try to claim that polygamy is okay and having sex with a 12-year-old girl is okay, and they're just pedophiles. There's no other way to put it. They're just pedophiles. And they have that in, in Islam as well. We just had uh, an Islamic Nigerian, I think he was a senator, that would marry this 12-year-old cousin or this 12-year-old girl, and he's like in his 50s or 60s. He's a pedophile. There's no other way to put it. He's a pedophile. Gee, my mother married at the age of 12. Uh, even though the guy was 18 years old, her reason for getting married was she was trying to get out of the foster homes that, because nobody would adopt her. Um, I'm sorry, even though he's 18, that's a pedophile. At the age of 18, the youngest girl I ever dated was 16. Her name was Tina. I wouldn't go below 16. Because even, even as an 18-year-old kid, I knew that, you know, date girls 12, 13, 14 years old. I'm sorry, it's just wrong. Um, but, you know, if it's lawful, it's lawful. Nothing I can do about it. But it ain't lawful to me. Anyhow, the reason why we males, and I'm not necessarily including myself because I outgrown trying to date two women at the same time. That was a boy in me that used to do that as a teenager. But the reason why is biblical. You go back to the book of Genesis, and you'll see that, you know, uh, people back in those days had, uh, males had multiple wives. I think the gene from that, are from our ancestors, that's bred into us all the, through the last 6,000 years since Adam and Eve uh, were thrown out of the Garden of Eden, um, is still in us. You know, we, we have things that have been passed down from our earliest uh, ancestors. And we males, you know, our ancestors in the, on the male side, of course, had and married multiple wives. Polygamy, of course, they call it. That's why. It's in us. It's a part of our nature. Just like there are parts, women have certain natures that's just in them. And it can't really be changed, even though it might be wrong, and you have to fight it. We males have to fight what's in us that's been bred into us from, again, the beginning of time, because we know it's wrong. And it's just a battle that a lot of men don't want to fight. It's just as simple as that. It's bred in us. It, it, again, there's no excuse for it. I'm just simply trying to say the fact. It's bred in us. It's part of our nature. You know, you can go back to the book of Genesis and you find out that polygamy was quite common. But in those days, that was a, you know, it was a different time. There were needs for uh, polygamy in those times, possibly. But technically, or biblically speaking, as far as the New Testament is concerned, one man, one woman, period, into subject. There's no need for polygamy anymore. And it's wrong. But you women have to understand that it's read into us, and you need to know why. But it, we have to be disciplined to fight off those kind of urges. I had those kind of urges when I was a teenager. You know, I used to date a girl named Sharon Robinson and Becky Dunnigan, both of them at the same time. And for a long time, it was working pretty well without each one knowing the other. But like sometimes in the movies, uh, they met up, my name came up. I lost both of them, and I got exactly what I deserved. Of course, I was only in the fifth grade. So, <laughs> I learned it uh, very young. I learned a good lesson. And, uh, but that's basically why. You can, If you don't believe in anything biblical, then probably my answer here, or explanation, isn't going to be of any value to you. But it's in our genes. And this is a problem that all males need to recognize. Just like, you know, you have to recognize if... Uh, person that call it, you have to say, okay, I am an alcoholic. A person that has a, or a male that has a tendency to not be satisfied with one woman, is going to say, hey, I've got a problem here. I've got this polygamous type 
uh, urges, you know, where I just got to have more than one woman. And then like an alcoholic, they've got to deal with it, fight it, and overcome it. There is no other way. So I hope this explanation it will satisfy some people. It's not going to satisfy most people, but it's it's true. It's part of our nature. There's a lot of things that are bred in us that we have to overcome. Again, for me, it's easy. I overcame it a long time ago. But there are a lot of males, especially younger males, that have not, and they don't understand themselves why they have this uh, such these such these urges. Now, of course, it is sexual in many ways. You know, uh, for some reason, males think that the younger woman is, uh, unless she's been with a man, that somehow it's going to be the greatest sex in the world. Hogwash. No, it ain't. And that kind of male is looking at a woman as, not as an object, but as an animal, just about. Uh, I've dated women who have been the victims of, of rape. And they were shocked when I, it didn't mean anything to me, though the crime did. But I'm not, I'm not mar marrying them or interested in them. Of course, I didn't marry, hadn't been married yet. But it doesn't matter because it's not, it's not the sexual thing of it is what I'm trying to say. It's not whether, whether a male has forced this himself on her. It's not the issue. It isn't, you see what I'm trying to say? It's like some men only want a virgin so they can have, you know, so they can be the first. That'd be nice. But when a male dates a woman, whether she's been a victim of incest or rape, and all of a sudden if you lose interest, there's something wrong with you, not with her. That's what I'm trying to say. Of course, sexual attraction is everything. But you can't date someone, marry someone, simply because you think no male's been there before, or, and I'm referring to males, or because of some some sexual thrill you get, or you don't like the fact that some male's pe uh, penis has been there that, which he was, she was forced up on. The very uh, iffy subject for me. I uh, find rapists. I hate them with everything in me. But that's why we males have such a hard time. I guess is the fact that we cannot settle for one lady, and that's what you women need to understand. And when you run across a guy you like and he has that mentality, you need to talk to him just like you would an alcoholic in such a way that he needs to overcome those urges. He needs to admit he has that problem and he needs to get overcome it. Just like an alcoholic needs to overcome their addiction to alcohol or drugs. You see what I'm saying? It is a very serious matter and it's something that only begins when a male admits it. And that's what you women should be asking guys you date. Do you have that fantasy? Do you have those urges? Of course, there are some women who are the same way. They can't handle one guy. they got to have multiple guys. Some of us read them. Why? Because in biblical times, it was common for women to be, uh, to sometimes have more than one male. It, it wasn't just men who had multiple wives. There were women in those times who would go from one guy to the next, not so much with sex, but just like to be with a lot of guys. It's partly bred in them, although it's bred far more in us. That's why. Do you see where I'm coming from? That's what you have to deal with. And if you ladies want to get a guy that can be settled, settled down with you and only be interested in you, and if you better find out if he's got this urge in him, more than likely he does, and you need to work with him to overcome it. And only, and you may just have to test him some to find out. You know, we're running out of time on this uh, video here. It's going to be less than 10 minutes. I hope this answered your question to those who still wonder why we men can't be faithful, why we got to have many women. There's a reason right here. There's the best answer I can come up with for right now. Bye. Thank you for your time.